Welcome back. One of the things that makes Unfiltered different than other shows is we invite our viewers to voice their opinions and concerns. Today we have a question from one of our viewers in New Jersey. His name is Carl. Hi Dennis. Uh, with the cyber breaches at Target and JP Morgan, uh, private companies are starting to take cyber terrorism seriously. How serious is the government treating cyber terrorism when it comes to our infrastructure such as the power grid? Fantastic question. Our cyber expert today is Mr. Yigal Bihar, owner of Two Secure Consulting Services here in New York City. All right, so big question out there for you. Yes, it is. It's a great qu uh, question, Carl. Uh, the government, actually, what I heard today that Obama is planning to put more money for cybersecurity. Uh, also, they're going to appoint a chief information security officer to help government actually to give them direction how to protect the uh, what is called the critical infrastructure in USA. Yeah, but isn't, are we a little too late to the game? I mean, these guys are trying to hack into our systems every single day, from China, from North Korea, from Iran. Yeah, true, it's happening every day, every single minute. People are trying to hack uh, government uh, resources, and it's happening all the time. It's not too late, you need to still to protect your information, so it's up to the government how they're gonna be uh, strong about it All and right, so what they're going to do go ahead, go ahead. they need to do the the perfect thing. i mean it's not perfect but they need to make sure that whatever they do is going to be done in a way that all the low-hanging fruit will be handled right away so when i say low-hanging fruit uh, meaning to have certain policies and sometimes even if you have policies it doesn't help because we could we, uh, we saw the target case there were for, for instance they had uh, PCI compliant and still the world breached. So obviously something is not is not in the right way and therefore it's going to be hard work to, to be done. And right. technology is not actually the right thing to do because what you need to have, you need to have people or human issue uh, educated before you do anything else in technology because this is a technology issue but humans are actually the weakest uh, weakest link in the chain. All right, so here, here's my concern, okay, because um, I live 9-11 firsthand. I always talk about it here on the show. I watched my fellow Americans jump from 80 stories high, and I ran from those buildings. And it's hard for me to imagine any day being any worse than that. But knowing technology, like I believe I know technology, uh, a cyber 9-11 would make September 11th that I lived look very small. So I envision... Uh, the Chinese hacking in to our power grid, shutting the thing down, be, being able to basically hold it ransom until they get whatever it is that they want from us, and then complete chaos spreads out throughout the east coast of... of could you imagine that we all lose everything? The power, the electricity, everything. I mean, is that a legitimate threat, or is that just some crazy right-wing conspiracy thinking that this sort of thing is taking place or could take place? It's legit and can happen and probably may happen. Uh, there's the case with the Ukraine grid that used investigator went to check and they got, they said, okay, it was a malware, it's called the black energy mm -hmm. that affected the grid. Uh, there's another event that just happened recently uh, to Israel uh, power grid that suffered a, a enormous attack, but they survived the attack. So it's possible to be protected you just need to do the right things. All right, so let's 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 peel this back a little bit, okay? okay? Because we are the most sophisticated, most powerful country in the world, or at least we were supposed to be, anyway. I or think thinking that yeah, we are. Yeah, I think President Barack Obama did a great job at, at watering us down. But in less than in less than thirty seconds, I mean, what? I don't understand how we're allowing these people from these countries to tap into the Pentagon. How are we allowing them to get into these different things? Well, it's a simple answer because once you connected everything to the Internet, you're right away, you're exposed. Okay, so that's good. So, so if, if you take uh, America versus Iran or America versus Russia or America versus Mexico, for that matter, when it comes to military, we're here they're here or here or here. But what you're saying to me is that when you take IT, it becomes a level playing field. Is that correct? Yes. That is extremely, extremely scary. It even can be like that. Really? Yes. 
So you don't think we're taking our cybersecurity serious enough at all? No, and I think that it's not going to change because when you add, even if you add policies and procedures, obviously those doesn't help. You don't do the common sense. There's no common sense in security. That's, that's a big issue. There's no will to protect America under Barack Obama, I'm telling you. When we come, thank you for joining me. Good insight. When we come back, we'll be talking about Fox News and Marco Rubio. Don't go away. <laughs>